Hey there, I'm going to demonstrate how to jump start a car. I will put the order of which you should connect your cables in the description of this video. Okay, so I have a very old car. It's a 1998. It's actually classified as an antique and insured as an antique, so that I only drive so many miles per year. It's a retired vehicle that I use to pull my boat, utility, whatever. It's a V8, so lots of power. Okay, so... First, you're going to, probably that right there needs to be scrubbed. And also, you don't want to use these. I don't want to be an example to show to use these. So get some new cables, of which I will be. Um, so go ahead, make sure that's got good connection. And then the working car, which is not running yet, dead to the red first. Remember that, red to the dead first. Okay, and then red on the the working car. Then in reverse, you're going to do black to the working car first. Then you're going to take the black on unpainted metal on the dead car. Also, if you it's a vehicle you haven't used in a while, see that wasp nest down in there? Yeah. Look out for stuff. Because if you live out in the country like I do, there's all kinds of critters that they know when a vehicle hasn't been turned on at least a few days. I and mean, sometimes even less than that if they're desperate. Beware of under the hood when you're a country person. And you can tell when you turn the vehicle on if you've got it on something that's going to really get, you know, good juice coming through it. And if you don't really hear it pulling from the working car, then go ahead and put it on some other unpainted metal spot. So now it's time to start the working car. And turn off, if you have any radios or stuff, anything pulling from your battery, turn it off. Don't let anything pull in on your battery in your working car. Just a suggestion. Now, I hear it pulling. I can hear it pulling. So I know it's got a good connection. This this is not even making any sounds whatsoever. So it's going to be a country minute before this charges. But I hear it pulling. So I just have to wait. And it's probably going to be a good 10 minutes before it will start making the cranking noise. I think this battery has a dead cell. And if you don't, if I don't start this car every day or two, it would, it would do this. I have a security system in this car and I think it's draining it. I've had the alternator checked. It's fine. So before I got it in to O'Reilly's or Napa to get the new battery, it ran low again. Um, it won't charge with a box. So that means it sounds like a cell is dead. So I'm definitely, once I get it charged again, I'm going to be taking it in. And if it doesn't charge, which I'm pretty sure it will, I do have... Thankfully, roadside assistance. And while it's charging, I like to give it an occasional room vroom. Not too much. Okay, I am now seeing life in my battery, so this is good. I'm gonna go ahead and turn these off. So my theft life is going cuckoo. It's saying, hey, something's going on, but it is now trying to turn over. So, I think it's gonna start. I'm gonna try it again. It's getting closer. Yeah, this one just went over. So I'll give it a few more minutes. So I'll be out there honking the horn down the road. Okay, so here's the thing when you're charging your car is uh one, don't leave it. Two, um if you have a weak battery don't use that to charge a car because if your cells are a little weak as it is it's just not a good idea so kind of always periodically check the cells of your battery i know i'm kind of a slacker with my my older car and hopefully i will be getting it in uh to uh get that battery changed out and so i can be able to pull my boat hopefully fourth of july weekend depending on what goes on with my surgeon I don't know if it's surgery or not. So we shall see. Here we go. And we have fly. Nice. This is my car. She's alive. Woohoo! I'm so glad. I'll have to deal with the tow truck. Oh, it's just so much easier if you can do it yourself. This is a V8 1998 Ford Explorer, and I mean, I've ran this car 
the mileage on it is 333,000 miles and 809 and it's solid other than this battery issue I mean it's kind of it's old looking it shows its age I've got a window again I get it fixed and people said hey you should take that down to the antique car show I'm like the show because literally cars from the 90s even though it's like 25 it's not like 50 years old so I'm like you know 25 years and older is actually antique but I can pull my boat with this I just use it as my utility vehicle Oh, so anyways, now I'm going to show how to reverse remove the cables. So you remove in reverse. So you're going to take the black off from the unpainted metal first. Safely put that on the ground. Don't let the cables touch each other. Then you're going to take off the black from the working car. Then take off the red from the working car. And last but not least, the red from the now working card, it was dead card. And again, in the description, I will put the order that you should do that. I hope this was helpful. I hope